Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video. Thank you all the members, all the Patreons and let's get into it. Subscriber, try to hit 15,000 subscribers until the end of the year. So help me out with that. We have 10 days to get 2,000, so kind of hard, but still, uh, let's try. So yeah, the radar on the MiG-29 is actually fixed as you see here. Uh, bugs that led to unstable radar target capturing when switching from search mode to target tracking mode has been fixed. This was a major problem. Uh, IRST has been tuned in terms of overview modes. The target capturing zone has been reduced to the sensors view overview zone. So yeah, that helps a little bit, but it wasn't, uh, I didn't actually realize that, but still. Target capturing time for radar and IRST in close combat mode has been reduced as well. So it should be easier to just use the radar on the MiG-29, okay? Let's fly one match to actually take a look if we can actually feel that. So yeah, we are, oh my God, that sonic boom just made me like get scared. But uh, yeah, let's try it out, the radar. See if I can detect targets better. Let's increase our range. Yeah, it's already being detected uh, fairly, a little bit more easier. As you see, I'm detecting with the normal hdn mode let's try with tws yeah tws apparently has uh, the normal modes of medium frequency they have a lot less range like 40 kilometers only so you have to have that in mind uh, so try to use oh my god uh, the hdn modes as i told you guys yet on yesterday's video Jesus Christ, I will probably crash into a mountain here. Let me cl climb a little bit. Yeah, somebody's trying to lock me. How are you maintaining a lock? I have no idea because I'm completely sideways to your radar. Let's go cold a little bit. Because there, there's probably missiles coming at me. Probably that one. Oh my god. Is the missile going to hit me or... Uh, let me drop this tank. Uh, but yeah, it just feels a lot better. Uh, still need some improvement in the range of the missiles as it was actually... Yeah, look at that. I mean, it's, it's working, but... I'm going to die. Oh my god. Yeah, there's, it's just impossible to defeat the M7F right now. So yeah, we are in another battle here. Um, I mean, you saw there, I tried to lock the guy. The lock was just not there. And for that matter, I lost a lot of time. And even if I tried to go cold, there wasn't any time. So yeah, it's problematic still. Uh, I just think that... I don't know, they, they over-nerfed some of the stuff of these aircraft too, because probably they were scared of this being too OP. And then the aircraft is just weirdly difficult to actually fly. The locks take too long and the radar is kind of weird and the F-14 is just easier to fly and the F-16 as well. So I don't know, it's kind of weird right now, it's still kind of weird. But let's try again. Um, as you see, I'm I'm being able to detect targets a little bit more easier. The TWS is still kind of weird. It's just really weird. It just goes around and it, it really is weird. And look at the range on the R27. I mean, it's it's kind of weird as well. <laughs> Everything in this aircraft is kind of weird right now. It's probably going to go cold. Let me drop this fuel tank. Come on, is he going to hit? Where is the target? Missile is coming, man. Where is the target? Yeah, why? Why did my, my R27 just don't have the energy, man? It just really don't have the energy. And now it's an M9L, probably. So, I don't know. It's just 
kind of weird, right? Uh, maybe the uh, ER is needed because I just don't have the energy. The missile doesn't have the energy to actually get uh, something like... Uh... Oh my god. And now I'm without flares. Oh my god. But uh, you know what I'm talking like? The R-27 just doesn't have the energy. It feels like it's worse than the R-24. Or very, very similar to the R-24. Which is just... It's not supposed to be like that, I don't think. I need to get out of here a little bit. Because there's so many aircraft here. And... Yeah, probably going to die for that. Let me try to get away from that missile. Hey, keep shooting your missiles, man. Come on, Fox One. Just I got one. But I'm going to die because I don't have flares anymore. <laughs> I cannot evade that. I just cannot evade. Yeah, and everybody's already dead. So, I don't know, man. I, I feel like they over nerfed this aircraft in the sensors and, and everything. And it's just too hard to get a lock. The missiles don't have the energy. The R60Ms, they are way worse than, than the M9L in the sense of flare resistance. I don't know, man. If they want to actually keep it that way, yeah, the statistics of the MiG-29 will be way worse. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I still think that, in, for example, in DCS, the R27 has way more energy. Like, way more. In DCS, uh, you can actually have some... You have some videos on it that the R27 actually has the same energy in long ranges as the M7F. So I really don't understand how they got this information that the, uh, the R-27 is just a very low range missile. Um, I really don't know. Maybe they will fix that or they will add the ER. Even the ER is probably going to be nerfed a little bit and it's just weird. I don't know. I just feel like it's uh, it's it's just too complicated to fly. It is just too too difficult to get a proper lock on. Uh, it just takes too time to too uh, too much time to get a lock with the radar. The missiles they don't have the energy. They go for any flares. They say that the R twenty seven T is the best missile out there for flare resistance. They still go for any flare whatsoever, much like on our bigger R sixty M. So I really uh, in the current state of things. Of course, we have this. Where is it? No. Where is it? Where is it? Of course, we have this. It was 30% yesterday, man. 30%. And I barely managed to get a 1.0 uh, KD on this thing. It's just too complicated. Uh, the missiles don't work. Everything is just weird to use and hard to use. And you have to slow down to like... 700 kilometers per hour, the same way as the F-16 as well, which is kind of weird. These aircraft are supposed to be very maneuverable and you really need to take your speed down and then you start turning. So I don't know, just very weird. It is, that's the main word. Not having a lot of fun with this aircraft. Um, to be honest, I will be waiting for them to actually add a little bit more to it. Uh, maybe I'll try to fly it more. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, I don't know. Maybe there is too many F-14s flying, uh, firing missiles from further away. Obviously, the uh, Phoenix has uh, way more range than the R-27, right? So, and the radar has way more range. So, maybe that's the thing. Maybe it's the span of F-14s, and we barely have MiG-29s flying around. We mostly have MiG-23s. So I don't know. It's just underwhelming uh, right now. It is fun to fly, but very frustrating sometimes, and. Yeah, not actually not that fun, to be honest, even. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe they will fix more. But I'm kind of disappointed. But still. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed, guys. Uh, make sure to subscribe. We're trying to hit 15,000 subscribers, as I said, until the end of the year. And I see you guys on the next one. So, bye, guys. See you.